Are you curious about gated communities in and around the Nashville area? If so, then stay tuned because in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through five gated communities inside of Williamson County. Back to my channel my name is caitlin martin and i am a local nashville real estate agent and founder of the caitlin martin team powered by weikert realtors the andrews group i specialize in working with savvy sellers who want to sell right and sell smart as well as working with out-of-staters looking to relocate to the middle tennessee area now if this is your first time stopping by my channel thank you so much please feel free to click subscribe down below so that you are notified anytime i release new video content. So in today's video, we are talking about five gated communities inside of Williamson County. So if this is your first introduction to maybe the Middle Tennessee area or my channel, I'm going to give you a brief geographical piece about where Williamson County is. Williamson County is actually going to be the county just south of Davidson County. And Davidson County is what is home to the heart of downtown Nashville and the communities around it. So if you're looking on a map, if you're looking at the heart of Nashville and you go directly south down I-65, then you start to run into Brentwood and that's kind of the top piece of where Williamson County starts. And then it goes down and around. So we are going to be talking about gated communities inside of Williamson County. Why Williamson County? Well, for a couple of reasons, right? That's one of my specialty areas. Plus Williamson County is one of those that is frequently desired. And a couple of the reasons include the highly rated public school scores that you can find on greatschool.org. That tends to be a big draw for people as well as the local job economy. You have low crime rate in Williamson County because Williamson County is gonna provide you more of that neighborhood community. You can even get homes with acres in Williamson County. So it's gonna provide you kind of that slower pace of life, but you still have close proximity to downtown Nashville. Any Anywhere in Williamson County, you're going to be about 20 to 35, maybe 40 minutes from the heart of downtown Nashville. So now let's dive into the gated communities within inside of Williamson County. This is actually going to be a two-part series because we have several gated communities, but today I'm going to be tackling five of some of the most popular gated communities. So we're going to start out with number one, which is going to be the Governor's Club. Now the Governor's Governor's Club is located in Brentwood off of Concord Road. This is a premier golf course community. It is gated. There is 24 hour security to ensure the safety of everyone who lives in the neighborhood. The Governor's Club is a neighborhood that has been around for a while. So you absolutely are going to find more established homes. I say that, but then however, there have recently been just a very select few new builds that have recently been built. Overall though, you are going to find an eclectic mix of home styles. You have some really grand estates that really are gonna kind of remind you of older style architecture, especially with the big columns. So you can certainly find more of that old world charm in terms of architecture, but then there also are more of that traditional Southern style and also more of that modern style as well. So you do have a range of styles within the neighborhood, which is one thing that makes it attractive to a lot of people because you're not just into a certain cookie cutter type of home style. And because this is a golf course community, it's actually a private golf course and it's an Arnold Palmer signature course. One of its landmark features is going to be the lush greenery and stonework around the golf course. Now you also do have a clubhouse where you can have private dining, fine dining, casual dining. There is a resort style swimming pool, a cabana bar, men and women's locker rooms. You have private dining terraces. And here's the thing with the governor's club, you can live in the neighborhood and not be a part of the golf club or you can be a part of the neighborhood and have a golf club membership. They even allow memberships for non-residents. So people in the community can actually join, whether they wanna be a part of the golf course or the boy, or maybe they wanna be a part of the social clubs. There is that option inside of the governor's club. The schools that the governor's club is zoned for in terms of public schools, you're gonna have Crockett Elementary, 
Woodland Middle School and then Ravenwood High School, which that in and of itself is a draw for people just because if you go look at greatschools.org, Ravenwood High School is rated a 10 out of 10 in terms of high schools in the area. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So you're probably wondering about pricing in the Governor's Club. Pricing for a resale home, kind of that entry level price point in the Governor's Club, it's gonna be right around 1.5 and that's gonna scale up to more than 5 million. You Again, you really have that eclectic custom home designs within the Governor's Club. So there, there's a wide variety there. You can get homes that sit on the golf course that back up to a golf course view. You can have homes that sit on a hilltop because the Governor's Club, it really does sit amongst the rolling hills. So that does offer you more view opportunity. The Governor's Club homes, they also tend to have basements, which I know that basements, I'm coming across it more and more, that people are really interested in homes with basements. So just know you can get that just because of the way the topography is inside of the neighborhood. It does lend itself to being able to find homes with that basement opportunity. Okay. And for number two, in terms of gated communities, we are going further south to College Grove. Now College Grove is still inside of Williamson County. It's just further south. If you take Interstate 65 down to 840, go east just a few miles, get off on Arno Road, the Grove is gonna be right there. Again, gated community, 24 hour security. You do have a security guard that does patrol 24 hours a day because this community and what it has to offer, it does tend to lend itself to being more of a family friendly community just because of, again, what it, what it has available. And because of that, they really wanna make sure that both the residents, parents, they all feel safe. They feel safe having their kids out and about. The Grove is a really neat community. It is a master planned community, which means it's got multiple clubhouses. In fact, it has three clubhouses. It has an on-site day spa, which is fantastic. It also has a great area inside the spa for not just massages, but for you to go up and get manis and petties could be a great opportunity for a mommy daughter date. Um, so you not only have that, you also have a premier private golf course community. So whereas with the Governor's Club, they allow non-residents to have memberships, here at the Grove, you have to live in the Grove in order to be a member of the golf course club. So that is something to keep in mind. The Grove is also going to have multiple pools. It's got walking trails. It also has pickleball courts. Now you have multiple fitness opportunities. So not only does it have its own on-site gym, it also offers you the opportunity to do both private and group classes, which is really neat. There's also an equestrian site in the neighborhood so kids are able to go and visit with horses, which is pretty unique to the area. There's also parks within the neighborhood. You have multiple dining opportunities, not just located inside the clubhouses, but there is other sites within the neighborhood where there is the opportunity to grab more casual dining and enjoy by the pool or a playground. So there are, there's just a lot there that the neighborhood has to offer. It's almost like you don't really have to leave the neighborhood for much of anything. And the only real thing would be maybe going out to an event or going to the grocery store. They do have a general store located up at the front of the neighborhood with just kind of the few very basic items that maybe if you forgot it at the grocery store, it's just easy to run up to the front of the neighborhood and grab it. However, otherwise, uh, there's not a true dedicated uh, grocery store inside the neighborhood. So that is something that you'd have to run out for. But overall, this neighborhood offers a lot in terms of just the housing. So the Grove has been really particular about which builders they allow to build in the neighborhood. It is an established community. So there are resale opportunities inside of the Grove and there's a wide range of home styles. So you have your cottage style, you have your modern farmhouse, you have more of your traditional farmhouse. You also have a modern English Tudor style. You have the grand estates. You really have a lot of custom homes because some of these homes were builder spec homes. Others are where someone purchased the lot. They brought a builder alongside and they created a truly custom 
home. So there is a lot of opportunity just in terms of different home options inside of the Grove. Now there are still a few new build opportunities available. So there is one section that has yet to be completed inside of the Grove. That is going to be the final phase. So once it's gone, the neighborhood is done. It is built out. Here's the really nice thing about the Grove. The Grove has actually purchased several hundred acres around certain sections of the neighborhood perimeter so that it can never be built upon and it does protect the privacy it does protect the mature trees that kind of surround the neighborhood and i know a lot of times i'm starting to hear people really wanting those mature trees so the grove has has really gone ahead and actually protected that so that does stay protected around the neighborhood but like i said one final phase with that final phase, you do have the opportunity to either see what a builder is already planning for that lot, if that's a lot that they own. See, there is that opportunity. And if you get in early enough, there is still the opportunity to work with the builder to make customizations to the home that you want to really make it yours. Now, again, it depends on where it is in the build phase. If the home is getting near completion and you're taking a look, that's probably gonna be harder. But if you get in on more of that ground level, there is still the opportunity to make customizations to a spec home. There is also the opportunity to see what developer lots are still available, purchase a developer lot, and then again, have a builder come alongside you, and then you can create your truly custom home. So there are those opportunities. Now, if we're talking about price points within the neighborhood, so the Grove is going to start around that 1.4, 1.5 entry price point range, but a lot of times you're going to see that scale. You can get some in that range, but really you're going to start to see more inventory at that 1.9 and then it scales up. A lot of the homes sit between 1.9 and 5, but it does scale to well over 5 million. In fact, just the other month, a home sold in the Grove for a 11 million. So the Grove, it really has a wide range of homes and it does give you more of that opportunity. Even if you don't want to build, even if you're buying a resale opportunity, it still does give you that opportunity to get more of that custom home feel, which is really nice. And if we're talking about lots, if you're curious about what those lot prices are, it's going to vary, of course, depending on lot size and location, but the lot prices range from about 690 up to 1.1 million. Now let's talk about schools really quick. In terms of public schools, it is zoned for College Grove Elementary, Fred Page Middle, and Fred Page High School. If you're interested in private schools, some of the private schools that are well rated and they're also in close proximity to the Grove, those include Battleground Academy, Franklin Christian Academy, Brentwood Academy and Franklin Classical. And just a few final thoughts on the Grove. The Grove is a community where even though you can get some very beautiful, expensive homes inside of the Grove, the, the real community feel, it's not a pretentious community feel. It has more of that true like Southern, warm, inviting feeling to it because I know sometimes once you really start to scale up and budget, a lot of times people can feel like, well, does that, is it stiff? Is it pretentious? It really does have that Southern hospitality feel to it. It's really warm and inviting. And again, that neighborhood is absolutely gorgeous, stunning homes, but because of the way that they've really developed the neighborhood and, and the sense of community, it really just provides that warm, welcoming Southern hospitality feel to it. And then lastly, if you are thinking about maybe the commute into downtown Nashville, or maybe you're considering the commute to the airport, you're gonna be right around 40 minutes, depending on traffic from either getting into downtown Nashville or getting to the airport. Okay, so we are actually gonna stay in College Grove as we head to gated community number three, which is going to be Troubadour. Now, Troubadour is one of the newest, most exclusive private golf club communities in the Williamson County area. So Troubadour, when it's all finished out, is gonna be a community of only about 375 homes. Now this is going to be a much smaller community than the Grove. But here at Troubadour, they have 
almost thought of truly everything. It was actually developed by Discovery Land Company, which they are an exclusive high-end luxury developer who has developments all across the world, including down in Mexico, over in Ireland. They are they're really known for their luxurious developments. So with Troubadour, as of right now, they do have the clubhouse built and operational where you can go and grab a bite to eat when you live in the neighborhood. They are going to be building their pool and also their spa, their full service spa. Those are going to be done in the next two, three years. So this community, like I said, it does have homes already built, people living in them. That first section though, that's where you're gonna find more of your traditional Southern architecture style. You've got homes that are that classic painted white brick home. However, what is now being built and developed in that community, actually take a look at this. So this is the Troubadour website. As you can see, as I'm scrolling down, they have more of this modern cottage style, which is really their hallmark home style for what they are going to continue to build. But here's the thing, you do still have the opportunity to purchase lots or, that are available and create your own home on that, your own custom home on that lot. But it comes with a price tag. I said at the beginning of talking about Troubadour, it is one of the most exclusive premier neighborhood. So a lot right now, they still have lots available that range from about half an acre to an acre and a half and lot prices start at 4 million. Now that doesn't include the home build price. It's just that is solely for the lot. It does really lend itself to ultra luxurious. So in addition to the golf course that it has, there are actually two little clubhouses along the 18 hole golf course. And in those huts, it's kind of like a snack shack, but I feel like in terms of what that actually entails, I feel like Snack Shack is doing it a disservice. They have those beautiful cottages loaded down with all the snacks, all the different, I mean, you can make yourself chicken and waffles in the morning. I mean, it is truly a kid's paradise. It's got its own ice cream machine. So even if you aren't playing golf, you have the opportunity when you live inside the neighborhood to bring your kids up and they can pick from a huge myriad selection of snacks and of food. So not only do you have that, here's a fun fact for you. Discovery Land Company, one of the people that's a part of Discovery Land, they were also integral in the creation of Caso Mingo's tequila. So there's going to be Caso Mingo's available at both the clubhouse, along those snack shacks, along the golf course, you can get margaritas, you can get tequila, you can get all sorts of good stuff. So this neighborhood, in addition to the golf course, you're also going to have, there is, there is, there is a fishing pond on site where kids can go for part of summer camp. There's also an archery center for kids where they have dummy animals put up so that they can practice their archery skills. In this neighborhood, they really did a nice job of integrating into the land that was already there. So they're, even though they bulldozed a lot of trees for the new home builds, you also do have plenty of area that's still wooded and they really do provide a lot of opportunities for kids. Like I said, you've got summer camp, you've got fishing, you've got the archery. There's also going to be a pool, like I said, just a lot of opportunity. And again, because it's a gated community, it's meant to be a very safe community. In fact, if you are not on the list, when you arrive to that guard stand, they are not letting you in. They take safety very, very serious, which also means that there can be some celebrity clientele that live in the neighborhood. Safety and security is a top priority inside of this neighborhood. Now, when you live in the neighborhood, you must be a part of the neighborhood membership. So as of right now, and these fees can change as time goes on, but right now the membership fee is $200,000 in addition to $24,000 
a year yearly due. So that is something to keep in mind. So like I said, Troubadour, it does come with a higher price tag, but again, you have certain luxury amenities that you're not necessarily gonna find elsewhere. And like I mentioned, it does have more of that distinct kind of Southern California co modern cottage feel to it, but really the style and the vibe of the neighborhood is unlike anything else that we have in Middle Tennessee. So the starting entry price point, even purchasing a resale home is gonna start right around that 4 million mark as well. So again, just something to keep in mind, the Troubadour in its community is gonna to continue to be under construction as they continue to build out the amenities. They're actually even putting in an amphitheater. So again, there's a lot that this neighborhood has to offer, but just if you are interested in it, just know that you are going to be dealing with construction as those amenities continue to be built over the next couple of years. So in terms of schools that you're zoned for when you live in Troubadour, if you're looking at public schools, it's gonna be zoned for College Grove Elementary, Fred Page Middle and Fred Page High. Now we are going to head to gated community number four, which is going to be King's Chapel. And this is not too far from College Grove. This one is actually located in Arrington. So if you're not familiar with the Arrington area, Arrington, if you're looking on a map, if you are looking at Williamson County, so say you have downtown Nashville, you come down, you see Brentwood, you go a little further, you see Franklin. Then if you go over, if you go towards the east side, you'll see Nolensville. And if you kind of look right down in between them, you're gonna find Arrington. Arrington is just a smaller town inside of Williamson County. So King's Chapel is located in Arrington and it's actually going to be closer to the Franklin side of Arrington versus the Nolensville side of Arrington. King's Chapel, it is an established neighborhood with several different builders. You can find Tennessee Valley homes in the neighborhood, Dries homes. There are, there's a handful of builders that have built with inside of King's Chapel and there are homes that have been a little bit more established. However, overall, this is a newer community. So you're not going to find a home that's say 20 plus years old. This is still a newer community, but you have the opportunity to get both resale as well as still new construction opportunity. Now, whereas in Troubadour and as in the Grove, you have the opportunity to pick your own lot and bring your own builder that's like within the neighborhood guideline parameters. Here, it's going to be where builders already have homes planned for the specific lots. There could be the opportunity for customizations depending on where it is in the build process, but you do have the opportunity to get both new construction and existing homes inside of King's Chapel. King's Chapel, it is a gated with a security guard 24 hours a day. There is going to be a clubhouse, which can be rented out for private events, including weddings. There actually is a little wedding chapel on the property. Again, it's got a pool and there's a lot of great neighborhood events that take place throughout the year. So they really build in that sense of community inside of King's Chapel. Now King's Chapel was actually voted best neighborhood by the Greater Nashville House and Home Magazine for 2014, 2015, and 2016. So the neighborhood has been around a little bit, but again, still a lot of new construction opportunities in King's Chapel. In addition to the saltwater pool that they have, they also are gonna have plenty of walking trails. So as you're starting to hear, most of these gated communities will have walking trails inside of them. You know, it is a 700 acre community, but they've really reserved about 350 of that to keep that mature tree, that wooded area to really create that. They really are trying to integrate this neighborhood into the nature around it versus completely bulldozing the, the nature around it and then building on it. So they've really been intentional to make sure that the King's Chapel integrates with the nature that's already around it. Now, when it comes to price point for King's Chapel, really most homes are selling right between 1.2 and 1.9. So whereas some of the other gated communities that we've talked about scale much higher, this is going to be a more affordable entry price point and just price range in that neighborhood in general. So again, it, it ranges from about 1.2 to about 1.9. And then in terms of schools for King's Chapel, you're looking at College Grove Elementary, Fred Page Middle, and Fred Page High. Okay, and then gated community number five is going to take us to the west side of Franklin. We are going to be exploring 
Laurel Brook. So Laurel Brook is going to be located off of Hillsborough Road and Sneed Road. This is a well-established gated community that has been developed by Southern Land Company, which is actually the same developer as the West Haven neighborhood. And if you want to learn more about West Haven, you can go check out my video for that right here. Now, West Haven is not gated, but again, same developer for Laurel Brook that is West Haven. So Laurel Brook has been around for about 20 plus years for the most part. They have allowed several builders to build inside of Laurel Brook. And one of the nice things about Laurel Brook is you really get this beautiful sense of mature trees. You have lots that can be greater than an acre. You have more space within the community and they did build it in five sections. So whereas you can find a home in there that's around 20 years old, you can also find one that's like say maybe 10 years old. So Laurel Brook, it's got a wide, wide, wide variety of home styles. You can find some of those really grand estates, as well as finding something that's more of that true traditional brick colonial style. And again, you've got homes that have been updated throughout the years. You've got homes that when you take a look at the pictures inside, you can tell that it probably hasn't really been touched since it was built several years ago. Now, some of the big name builders that have built in that neighborhood would include Ford Builders, Legends Homes, Classic Design Homes, Davis Properties of Tennessee. You really have several, several builders that have been in there. So you do kind of similar to the Grove, these homes are not cookie cutter by any stretch of the imagination. And so it is going to provide you more of an opportunity to really feel like you're getting one of those one of a kind, unique custom homes. Now in terms of price point, so again, Laurel Brook is going to have more of a wider range in terms of price points. So the entry level price point in Laurel Brook is gonna be right around the 1.5 million. And then it's gonna scale up to about 5 million. Now there are certain homes that have gone over that. And fun fact, actually, Alan Jackson sold his home that was in Laurel Brook he sold it back in the beginning of 2021. Uh, it was listed originally for 23 million and it ended up selling for 19. And that sat on over four acres. So you really can get homes that are gonna sit on larger lots, more privacy. So you still get the sense of community with inside of the neighborhood, while at the same time not being necessarily right on top of your neighbors, you've really got that breathing space to work with. So one of the hallmark features about Laurel Brook is going to be its stunning, luscious surroundings. You actually have evergreen hedges and stone walls that gently curve and guide you through the neighborhood. They really wanted to make sure that they integrated the neighborhood into the already beautiful surroundings. So it really gives you this sense of peace and serenity to be amongst the nature while at the same time getting stunning, really customized homes within the neighborhood. And kind of like I said, lot sizes vary. So you have the ability to find homes that are going to allow you to feel more secluded while still allowing you to really enjoy the neighborhood amenities. And in terms of amenities, there is a pool, clubhouse, and tennis courts. And then of course, we have to also mention schools for Laurel Brook. So in terms of schools, it is zoned for Grassland Elementary, Grassland Middle, and then Franklin High School. So I hope this was helpful. This is only part one of part two in terms of gated communities in and around the Nashville area. So just as a quick recap, the five that we covered today were the Governor's Club, the Grove, Troubadour, King's Chapel, and Laurel Brook. So stay tuned for part two that is coming soon, but I hope this was helpful. If you're thinking about making a move to the Middle Tennessee area or you're interested in learning more about these gated communities, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact information is below. If you are ready to start that conversation, then you can go ahead and click the link that's down below to book a Zoom call with me so we can start to see what you're looking for and if we are a fit to work together and maybe you're not ready to start that conversation yet that's okay too you can go ahead and grab my free nashville relocation guide down below again my name is caitlin martin i'll see you next time